At first I thought the ritual didn't work. I was... I was wrong. When the last candle blew out and the ritual was closed, there was nothing but a mocking silence. No mockery, no loud noises, nothing. I felt like a fool at that moment. All I wanted was to bring back the love of my life. We were childhood sweethearts, and I've never loved anything or anyone else more than her. We've been married for ten years, and her eyes started to wander. I ignored it. She just needed some attention or something. I didn't expect her to send a text to tell me it was over. It couldn't be over. I tried love spells, once to bring back an ex and none of them worked. The only thing that happened was my wallet was being drained. And I found one, the last one, a pact with a demon to bring her back. When I researched the name of the demon, I found nothing, no history or lore to speak of. I was desperate and wanted a chance. If my ex could see for just a moment, she would understand. I ordered, received the package, and followed the rituals. Nothing. Then I began to hear footsteps around my house late at night. They would stop when I'd call out into the darkness, only to start moments later, and I knew that the ritual had worked. When I managed to fall asleep, my dreams would be haunted by my ex's beautiful face, and there was something else, just out of reach. I woke up drained, stumbled idly into the ensuite, and stared into my drained face. Even without the spells, I looked absolutely wrecked. Getting her back was all I could think about. I felt cold fingertips trail down my spine. The hair on the back of my neck stood up, and I couldn't breathe. In the reflection, I saw the faint outline of a feminine face and tried to pull away. She watched me for a moment, enjoying my suffering, and smiled at me, revealed fangs, and leaned in close to whisper, I keep my promises. Don't you worry. You'll be reunited with your beloved once more. She disappeared, and I gasped, for air. Holding my throat and using my hand to scoop up water to drink, my skin was covered in goosebumps, and I couldn't shake the anxious feeling in the pit of my stomach. She promised me that I would be united with my ex once more. It worked. The spell fucking worked. I went back to sleep, or try to, and this time... I didn't dream at all. When I woke up, I got ready for work in a daze and drove. Mindless, like the perfect drone. All I could think about was when the spell would work and my beloved would return to me. I thought of imaginary scenarios in my head. Us in bed together, holding each other, kissing, and... I nearly walked into a door... I pushed it open and walked to my desk. I hated this office job. I got it to support us getting a larger apartment in a nicer area. I sat down, turned on the computer, and signed in for the day. Hours blurred into each other. I half listened to conversations that took place around me and half smiled when people spoke to me. All I could think about was the spell. 
every so often, I felt the cool fingertips move along my spine. Soon, I promise, they will happen soon. The voice whispered again. I heard my phone beep. It was a text message from my ex. It read, Hey, I hope you're doing okay. Could we meet up? I really need to talk to you. Yes, it was working. I debated waiting a little, letting her know that I wasn't desperate for her answer. Before I knew it, I picked up my phone and frantically typed, Hey, I am. I'm good to talk. When are you free? Sent it. Normally, she took some time to reply. This time, the response was quick. Tonight, can you make it for dinner? I couldn't believe it was working so well. Before I knew it, I typed back, yes. Come over at 7pm. I've missed you. I could barely focus on my work the rest of the day. I rushed home, freshened up, and waited anxiously. I didn't want to arrive too early. I knocked on the door, right on the dot. She opened the door. Her eyes lit up when she saw me and let me in. I had to resist the urge to pull her into an embrace. I managed to hold it off. She took my hand, led me into the lounge room, and sat me down. Before I could speak, she did. I've missed you. I love you. I can't stop thinking about you. It worked. It truly worked. I didn't notice her sharp fingernails digging into my skin. I keep dreaming of you and what we had. I can't be without you ever again. I need you. I need you. I pulled her close. I ignored how her nails pierced my skin and blood gently flowed from the wounds. The spell worked. She pulled me close, her lips ever so close to mine, and whispered, I need you inside me. Her voice, it sounded different. I didn't need any encouragement, though. I kissed her. She was aggressive and held me tightly, far more so than one would imagine her small frame was capable of. She bit my bottom lip and I whimpered, pushed her away and looked at her. Her eyes were different, similar to a cat's eyes. And the woman I knew was gone. I love you. We cannot be separated now. There was a wild, desperate hunger in her eyes, and I knew I made a terrible mistake. I tried to stand, only to be yanked back down, and I felt her hands around my neck, squeezing the life out of me. As my eyes clouded, I heard the voice. I kept my promise. promise. 